Okay, uh, welcome back guys. So, the first thing I would like to do will be to adjust the general proportions of the body because I think our main character body looks more like this kind of average looking athletic body. So, I'm going to be using this as my reference for the body. But before that, let's crank up the subdivision level for this piece so we can create layers for this. So we have having something around we have something around 15 million which is uh let's just test this style so to know if this will be fine for what's needed for so I will need to use a uh need to use an alpha kind of test this out. So a scheme for alpha to be more precise. Well, I'm just trying to figure out if if oh I'm trying to figure out if this is enough for what we need it for so let me just zoom in and kind of figure out just making sure if I have enough resolution in there yeah I think that would be fine I think 15 million should be fine for what you need it for. If I go up a bit higher than than this right now, this that would just be too much. So this would work. So let's <clears throat> so uh yes. So under the layers, I put a new layer in here. I'm do, I'm doing I'm going to rename this layer to <clears throat> primary forms. All right, then go down to the lowest subdivision level by hitting Shift and D to go down to the lowest subdivision level. Yes, yeah, symmetry is turned on. So we can you know for a fact that this guy is kind of broad. So yeah, perspective is turned on. That's fine. So. Uh, let's make sure double sided is also turned on. Alright, so we can see everything properly. So, first thing I would like to do will be to <clears throat> let's see if the inflate, let's see if the inflate should uh, let's turn this off. Uh, which alpha should I have been used for this? Let's use alpha 42 instead. Put this to stroke. Then go to maxing and then let's use the max lasso. Oh, put this away a bit more. Okay. Now blow the max, invert the max. Let's see if that would actually help us. So, under the formation, nah, that's just making things look terrible. Uh, maybe we we'll just do a little. Probably something like this. Let's blow the marks a bit more. So one day. So I would like to um because 
I like to review the torso a bit more, so I need to see the poly group for that. So auto goes by yes, something like this. <clears throat> now select this over the max, load the max a bit more. Load the max a bit more, then think I can use the inflate okay yeah something like this then I can now manually then I can manually make some big changes to it now with the move brush oh and to smooth this out I'll take down the smooth brush to smooth out some of this line like some of this line created from the from using the inflate same also for the neck region so just gently smooth that out so I'm using intensity of nine, of nine. So I don't get. So I don't kind of over smooth this. Okay. So still on the move brush, I'll just. Let me see on the smooth brush. I'll just smooth move this down. Use a much larger brush size for this. Oh, with the move brush, kind of make move this closer. Okay. Give this one single poly group and hide that. I'm going to be using ton of symmetry. Now just push this down a bit more. No, that's a bit too much. Raise this up a bit higher. Symmetry. Okay, so the face we are going to the set of the face we are going to adjust later on. Smooth this out. <clears throat> Most of this part are not going to be visible, anyways, but let's just make sure everything is working correctly. Just create an indentation. No, that's with so harsh. Where is the stroke brush? Turn of the lazy, lazy mouse for this. 
take down the intensity okay yeah, i think this should work this should work let's move this down okay so let's use so let's use some anatomy images now it's kind of get some of these details back in there maybe you can use maybe you can use this you know that's a bit too too intense let's take this down Uh, I'm not sure I'm doing that correctly, so let me first put an indentation in here first. I go all the way here, okay? And gently smooth that out. So instead, use the standard brush to kind of elevate from this angle. So it looks more... Uh, turn off lazy mouse for this. Something like this, something elevated like so. Trying to use the, the features we have from this character to kind of block things out in here. No. Okay. No, no, not like so. Let me do this from this angle. Okay. And I'll gently smooth that out so it's not too intense. Here's the stand, them standard brush. Because there's the muscle in, muscle in here, so let's just kind of get that in. Let's get something in here also. Most of these parts are not going to be visible, but it's always good to kind of get something in there regardless. Let's see, get something in there. The head is not matching anybody yet, so we're still going to fix that, but let's just... Let's just get most of this in place first. Okay. So go to the back like so. Okay. Just blocking the shapes in. Okay, let's see what we can do for the back. Let's look for something better. Yeah, something like this should work. Uh, I feel a bit bony though. There's way too bony at the back, so. Perhaps something like this. Do we already have we already have something similar to that at the back? But let's just perhaps accentuate that a bit more. So I'm going to use the standard standard brush and just from around 
Yeah, I'm just gonna create an indentation around here. Now smooth that down a bit more. No, no, I think I didn't do that proper. No, let me do that again. So what I'm going to do now is just use the move brush. Kind of push this bone out. So it's not so we're not having a straight, a completely straight curved shape. Something that has an angle to it, like so should be just fine. Yeah, I also need to do something to the arm though. So still with the standard brush. Let's create an indentation around here too. Smooth that out. Put some kind of bony structure around there. Blend that down a bit more. Let's blend this down. There should be some kind of bone structure in here. Then I'll blend this down a bit more. Something like so. Okay. No, 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 not that. That is not looking correct. This is just the body itself. We're just trying to get things in for the body. Smooth this down some more. Smooth this down. So let's look for an anatomy image to give us a better or clearer idea of what we need to do in there. Okay. So now we have this in here now. So let's do some blocking in here. So I'm going to use the damn standard brush and just kind of create something like, no, not that. Create something like so. So let's see for the back side. So let's use back side reference instead. It's something like so. And smooth that down a bit more. Then with the clay builder brush, let's fill this up like so. But kind of following the directionality of it. Let's go up here. Okay, something like this should work. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Then for the back of the head, let's block something out around here and smooth that down. Smooth that down some more, like so. Smooth this down. All right. So let's go one subdivision level higher. Kind of see what we have. This is actually nice. Something like this and smooth that down. Use them standard brush and just block out something like so. Smooth that down. All right. Let's create some more depth around the air. Smooth that down. All right. I think this dimple in front is way too much. 
let's say it looks around here so yeah just to create this bone around here so let's essentially no that's too much so take down the brush the intensity of that brush so let's essentially that a bit more like so do the indentation like indentation around there indentation around the air smooth that down smooth that down some more let's make it a bit thicker smooth that down so let's look for let's go back to our main reference let's see Let's go back in here. This is my reference. Let's kind of. So this is an AI boost. I'm trying to kind of make sure I'm using real anatomical reference. Kind of make sure I'm getting this correctly. So let's just smooth this out some more. Okay. So let's go back to this dance standard brush. With an indentation around here, smooth that out, create something around here also, smooth that out. This is not too intense. Increase the brush size a bit more. Something more or less of this nature. Smooth that down. Smooth that down. No, no, that's looking weird. Let's look for reward reference for that also. That was someone facing. Yeah, yeah, this is a better. This is a better one. Okay, you can see shape in there like so. Take down the brush size, put an indentation around there, and bring the push this out. So I'm going to be using that this as a main reference, kind of block this out. Where do you have this shape in here? Okay. Smooth that out. Create an indentation around the air. Elevate this some more. Then gently smooth them down. This one, I'm going to use them stand the clay builder brush. Kind of create some more indentation around the air, a bit more. Okay, something like so. Then I'll smooth them down. So it shouldn't be too intense. All right. Let's get some more depth around this side. So I'm going to use the clay, clay brush and just push this back some more and smooth this down. Okay. All right. Let's move this out. Flesh this out some more. Use the standard brush. No, no, that's not what I need to do. Let's get something. No, something like so. Now I need to do this in the lower subdivision level. Then we do them standard brush instead. Something like this. 
I'll blend that down a bit more. Use the clay builder brush and just build something on here. Okay, that's too deep. I think that should be fine. I think this block out to be fine at least. Block out should be fine. We have not broken symmetry on this yet, but this block out should work just fine. This block out we have will work just fine. So I'll do a quick save for this. I'm not gonna save this file. Can you imagine? I'm not gonna save this file. Let's make sure we save this file. Albino mail O1. Okay, that's fine. This I'm not going to be showing that part, so it won't really matter, matter adding too much detail there. Let's block out some apps for this dude. Let's move that out. I think this pipe part is tilted down way too much, so I would like to I would like to elevate it. Okay, I think that's a bit better now. Yeah, much better. Yeah, this for the most part should work. A quick save. So, <clears throat> so in the next lesson, you are going to be focusing on. I'm going to focusing more on the head. It's kind of using this. Using this reference in here to kind of capture, kind of capture the shape more precisely. Okay, so this is a very young male, probably eighteen, probably teenager or something. So this kind of this kind of this guy is looking a bit too mature. So I'm going to kind of make sure this face kind of looks a bit similar to this and much younger than it is right now so we'll do that in the next lesson so i'll see you guys in the next lesson let me just do one last thing and get this nipple in there all right so I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.